So, here it is. 10 years. 10 years ago, to this very day, I created the Gaming Beaver channel. Crazy, in it. And you know, we're only gonna be able to do this once. So I thought, 10 years, let's make a video. Because 10 years ago, I was still in university and my main focus was my animation channel, Beaver Media. I would post parody videos, mainly video game related. And not too long ago, 10 years ago, obviously, I had just completed uh, my magnum opus at the time, which was an animation called Legend of Link which showcased some beautiful clickbaity thumbnail of its year. And it took me an entire year to create it, juggling university work alongside it. But the reason that I created this channel in particular was because I was experimenting with some other content on my animation channel. That being Let's Plays. I was recording a lot with Whitney and she'll be the first one to say, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> she started. And it's kind of thanks to her that I even made the videos that blew up in the first place. Because I started to cover a little game you might have heard of called Jurassic Park Builder. In comparison to my Pokemon Let's Play series that I've been recording with Whitney at the time, the views kind of just spoke for themselves. So instead of flooding my animation channel with Let's Plays, I thought I would just create a separate channel and call it The Gaming Beaver. And its logo was barely thought out. I was working with an artist to do backgrounds for an animation that was never released. And I just asked him, hey, I'm thinking about doing a Let's Play channel. Could you put together something to do with beavers and gaming? <laughs> and he came back with these three concepts. So there, never before seen the original concepts for The Game Beaver. I think I chose the best one. I don't think JB would have done very well. And slowly but surely, I started to tilt my focus towards the Let's Plays rather than the animations. And it snowballed from there. I started playing other Facebook games because that's what I was only covering at the time. So we did Dino Hunter Deadly Shores and even Bubble Witch. I know, look it up. I actually made a video on it. I was really trying everything. <laughs> Um, and Winnie was still there. We did some more Pokemon Let's Plays and even the Trespasser uh, series, which I still see some people say they watched and remember fondly. And I guess that was a beta test for, you know, the Path of Titans videos that we would end up making today. Whitney! Revenge! I got two of my closest friends and started recording our gaming sessions together, which ended up becoming its own channel, Bro Gaming. And thus the meme of saying, wait, did I just hear Beaver swear? was born. And before I knew it, I was uploading three videos a day. Yes, maybe those three videos were three Jurassic Park Builder videos, but you know, it was a lot for the time. And you know, it felt good. My viewership was small and subscribers were small too, but it was rewarding in its own way. And not too long after that, in 2015, Jurassic World The Game came out. I had no idea how successful this game series was going to be for my channel, but I was not going to stop. I only knew one thing, and that was to get as much content out on this game as possible. The YouTube algorithm was favoring me, and but I was not going to argue with it. I fueled this Jurassic train with Jurassic Park Month. It was my way of flooding the YouTube algorithm with Jurassic heavy content, as well as playing catch up with all the Jurassic games that I hadn't covered at the time. And on some days, I was uploading five videos a day. In fact, this was the only period of time that I needed a schedule to know what videos were going up when it was that hectic. The videos maybe weren't heavily edited and were kind of like stop start recording, but it was rewarding knowing that I had seen a project through all the way to the end and it was a success. And from that moment onwards, anything dinosaur related, I was covering. And what a hell of a ride it's been. I've traveled all across the world because of this channel. And I've also met so many people that in a normal life, I would never have had the opportunity to have met. After 10 years, it's safe to say that the content has changed just a little bit. And I would argue for the better. Yes, we've slowed down on the uploads, but the quality, I don't think it's been better. And finally, I want to say thank you to you, the viewer, whether you're a recent one or you've been with me for years. And actually talking about that, how did you find this channel? Has it been with the recent Path of Titans videos? Or were you there with the 2015 Jurassic World craze? Or even 
before that. The Jurassic Park builder. I have, are you that old? Are you as old as me? Maybe you are. On the channel, I've milestoned a couple of things, like my 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, maybe even a million. I can't remember. Maybe we did a million. I think we did. And I think 10 years is just as important as those subscriber milestones. And I wanted to celebrate the occasion with a tiny little video, short and sweet, you know, that sort of thing. Anyway, guys, I won't keep you too much longer. Uh, but if you've enjoyed all my videos in the past, um, well, thank you, because... There's no one else that's more grateful than I am. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in another video. Oh, bye bye.